Hey, Yorkers! Welcome back to a new episode of Let's Make Some Music Together. Because where I ask you guys what I should produce, and the top comment is what I produce. D Emilio had the top comment of last week. He would like some Bigum techno in the style of Hardwell. So for those who don't know, and I'm sorry for flexing, but I have toured with Hardwell for yeah, let's say like more than a year. So I do know some of his songs. <laughs> <laughs> in all seriousness, I have learned a lot from him in the studio, but also on tour. And I think it will be a fun challenge to make something that he always make. Let's listen to the tracks to get a little bit of an understanding about the genre. Hello? I like this track a lot. It's pretty doable. So let's make some tracks in the style of Hardwell. I think the most important part about these tracks is to create a melody that is super catchy, but also has a lot of energy. And I've learned from Hardwell that less is more. Your sounds needs to be on point. Otherwise it's not gonna work. So let's try this and create a great idea. Let's begin with like a techno synth. That's a cool one, but that's not what I want. I think that's good. I think that sound is a little bit... Uh, more. That sound sounds a little strange, but if you use like the granulizer, the fun thing with using a sample instead of a synthesizer is that it feels old. Already sort of distorted. And that makes, for me, the sound that I want. One eternity later. Maybe we use another one. That could work. Don't like the sound yet. We need to find the right sound. This could work. Okay, then we uh, we add like a delay or something. We need to layer this. And already we're gonna use that for the... That's gonna be insane. But we need to make sure that there's no delay. That is a really irritating sound. I think that's good. Of course, it, it is a little bit rough. <laughs> we can fix that immediately with some atmosphere. We need a vocal over here and we need some claps in there as well. I think Robert will be proud for me as a, as a tech house producer <laughs> to do this. And then a pre-vocal, pre-rub vocal. Oh yeah, that's good to have that as a e e e e. A little bit too much when it's on the one. Or we can even add it to the granulizer. That would be fun as well. We, we can try something, you know. It needs to start a little bit earlier. Wow, okay. I love that it's a... Oh wow, okay. Then it sounds really fat, oh Jesus, okay. It's strange, you know? 
you know, something like that to make it uh, like a sort of feel. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm having way too much fun. We just add this kick over here. This is the knock and then we'll create what I want. I want more push. Maybe I wanted a little bit more low end as well. <laughs> we need like a bass line in there as well. That could work. Let's do this. We're going to destroy this. I like the sound of it, but it may be short. I got to say the main drop isn't right now what I want it to be. The uh, It's cool. There needs to be happening more. That's better. That's better. We need some extra things in there. Yeah, maybe maybe that could work as well. Just to layer that sound with, with this one, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we want. It does sound a little bit thin, you know? Okay, we're going to delete this one. That's better. Yeah. The uh, the synths uh, with the, 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 the samples isn't really what I want. Okay, so we're going to delete this and we're going to delete this. <laughs> It is sounding a little bit randomish. Now we need to create that it flows together, you know? We need like a vocal. Breeder up vocal. Girl, don't come. Goodbye. Now we buzzing. Yummy. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. Yep, 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 yummy. Maybe we can follow this melody. Yep, 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 yummy. Hey, yo, what the f? Yep, 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 yummy. It is there. Look like this, yes. Yep, 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 yummy. There also need to be like an acid sound in there. Something like this. Oh, and this one. Yep, 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 yummy. I know it's it's still a little bit randomish, and we definitely need like a like a snare as well in there. And then this part needs to be even sicker. I don't know if it works, you know, we can try it, but... That double one is a little bit tricky. Maybe we can do it like at the end every time. One more thing and that's the percussion. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think we have it right now. Um, and I feel we can listen to it. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna delete these. I think it's better if it's in the second part. Okay, we're gonna listen to it again.
I hope you learned something today. For me, it was like a new thing to try. Most of the time, I make a little bit more groovy stuff. And for me, it was really an eye-opening thing, especially in the beginning, because the beginning was sucked ass. So yeah, for next time, let me know what I should make next. Don't forget to subscribe, of course. Don't forget to like, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. You need to subscribe to Tim Hawks on YouTube or you're going to die.